good morning children hearty welcome to all of you for today's session come let's learn english children today in this session i will be discussing a new lesson from our bhi textbook our last lesson lesson number 11 if i were you okay so before moving ahead with the lesson as usual let me give you a brief description about the author okay douglas james have you seen his picture yes douglas james has penned the play if i were you listen douglas james was a british colonial administrator holding the post of governor of north borneo sierra leone and the leeward islands during his career in 1916 he became secretary to administration in british somali land a position he held until 1921 okay so let's see the lesson lesson 11 if i were you okay see jara lives alone in a lonely cottage an intruder who is a criminal enters his cottage he intends to murder jara and take on his identity does he succeed okay children so the central character of this play is jara he lives in a lonely cottage what do you mean by cottage cottage is a small house so he was living alone in a small house so one day an intruder who is a criminal he enters into his house or enters in his cottage he was planning to murder jarar and take on his identity okay so let's see does the intruder succeed in his attempt or not so what do you mean by intruder children intruder means a person who intrudes that is especially into a building with criminal intent intruder means a person who intrudes a person who enters into a building with a criminal intent okay so let's start so before moving ahead children i'll give you an introduction to our lesson so this play is about a playwright named gerard as i told you it gerard the central character of the play the play is about a playwright what do you mean by playwright playwright means a person who is writing dramas so this play is about a playwright playwright spelling p l a y w r i g h t so this play is about a playwright named gerard how he escapes being killed by an intruder who wants to steal his identity and live peacefully gerald tools the intruder confines him in a cupboard and finally hands him over to the police so that's the story children so he escapes from the hands of an intruder who wants to steal his identity and live peacefully so gerald what did he do he tackled the intruder confines him in a cupboard and finally hands him over to the police that means he escapes from the intention of the intruder okay so let's see how he escapes from being killed by an intruder clear so before moving ahead with the lesson children there is an assignment for you after the completion of this lesson you have to find out the meanings of these words okay see the following words and phrases occur in the play do you know their meanings match them with the meanings given to find out see a lot more words are there you have to match it and write it in your notebook all these words are new words for you cultured count on engaged melodramatic to be smart inflection wise guy a dandy bus trades people gratuitous dodge a lucky break sunday school teacher free okay don't forget 
after completing this lesson you have to find the meanings and match it and write it in your notebook too clear so let's start it a small cottage interior there is an entrance back a right which may be curtained another door to the left must be a practical door the furniture is simple consisting of a small table towards the left a chair or two and the one rather upstage on the right on the table is a telephone so what's going on there children yes when the curtain rises jara is standing by the table making a phone call okay so let's see it's a small cottage interior there is an entrance a right back which may be curtained another door to the left must be a practical door the furnitures are there simple it consists of a small table it was on the left side of the stage a chair or two are there and one more is there at the one rather up stage on the right so on the table there is a telephone too okay when the curtain rises jara is standing by the table making a phone call he is a, a medium height and wearing horn rimmed glasses he is dressed in a lounge suit and a great coat his voice is culture jara well tell him to phone up directly i must know yes i expect i shall still be here but you mustn't count on that in about 10 minutes time right ho oh, goodbye he puts down the phone and goes to the divan on the left where there is a traveling bag and starts packing whilst he is thus engaged another man similar in build to jara enters from the right silently revolver in his hand and he is flashily dressed in an overcoat and a soft hat he bumps accidentally against the table and at the sound jara turns quickly jara pleasantly why this is a surprise mister i am glad you are pleased to see me i don't think you will be pleased for long put those bows up who says this intruder jara this is all very melodramatic not very original perhaps but the intruder trying to be calm a uh, jara non calend is your word i think intruder thanks a lot you will soon stop being smart i'll make you crawl i want to know a few things see okay children so let's see the explanation of this slide listen so when the curtain rises jara is standing by the table making a phone call if you come to page number 39 you can see the picture okay so the picture of jerald is there so what's going on there children yes the play is set in a small cottage yes where it is children yes the play is set in a small cottage a small cottage interior can be seen on the stage the room has an entrance on the right hand side with a curtain on it and there is another door to the left side of the room which is in use the room has simple furniture as i told you a small table to the left a chair or two and a small bed on the right side of the room that is what is the one then on the table there is a telephone so as the curtain on the stage is rolled up gerald is found standing by the table making a phone call so gerald as i told you the central character he is found standing by the table what he was doing there children yes he was making a phone call he is of medium height and he is wearing spectacles that are in the shape of horns h o r n s you know so horn rimmed glasses wearing horn rimmed glasses so the spectacles that are in the shape of horns he is wearing a lounge suit what do you mean by lounge lounge means long he is wearing a long suit and a great coat also have you seen it see he is dressed in a lounge suit and a great coat so lounge means long then 
his voice indicates that he is cultured and well educated cultured what do you mean by cultured children educated so from his voice we realize that he is so educated he is a cultured man clear so listen gerald gerald is speaking on the phone what is he saying well tell him to phone up directly i must know yes i expect i shall still be there but you mustn't count on that in about 10 minutes time right oh goodbye so gerald is speaking on the phone he says that the person should call him up directly then he adds one more thing he adds that he would reach in 10 minutes bits goodbye and puts the receiver back on the phone so what he was doing there children yes he was talking to somebody he was on his phone then after speaking he puts down the phone and go to the goes to the uh, divan on the left so he go, goes to the divan and starts packing the stuff in a traveling bag so while he is busy packing another man who is similar to jara enters the room silently from the right side of the stage he has a gun in one hand he is dressed in a bright colored dress and overcoat and a soft hat then he bumps into the table and gerald turns around the sound what do you mean by children bounce yes accidentally he was stuck on to the table and by hearing the sound of the table moving gerald turns around by hearing it okay so gerald pleasantly why this is a surprise mr so gerald speaks pleasantly to the stranger and says that he is surprised to see him so he, actually he was seeing that person for the first time yet he speaks pleasantly to the stranger and says that he is surprised to see him then the intruder says i am glad you are pleased to see me i don't think you will be pleased for long put those pause are how is in the word children pause here in this context pause means hands h a n d s pause hands so the intruder what is saying children the intruder says that he is glad to find gerald happy to see him so he adds that gerard won't remain happy when he comes to know or his intentions the intruder asks gerald to raise his hands so what is going on there children i am glad you are pleased to see me but i don't think you will be pleased for long what's the meaning of that sentence children i don't think you will be pleased for long that means he says that gerard won't remain happy gerard will not remain happy when he comes to know or his intention whose intention the intruder's intention as i told you intruder is a person who intrudes that means who enters into a place unexpectedly and at the same time secretly so a person who intrudes especially into a building with a criminal intent so he adds that the intruder adds that gerard won't remain happy when he comes to know or his intentions then the intruder asks gerard to raise his hands put those pose up so he asks him to raise his hands then gerald says this is all very melodramatic not very original perhaps but what do you mean by melodramatic melodramatic means excessive emotions melodramatic excessive emotion you know what's a melodrama melodrama means a sensational dramatic piece with exaggerated characters and exciting events intended to appeal to the emotions understood melodrama so melodrama means a sensational dramatic piece with exaggerated characters and exciting events intended to appeal to the emotions see in our all the films we can see the expressions the extra expressions on the face of the actors and the actresses so it's a melodrama so melodramatic means excessive emotions now in these days those types of emotions are not needed okay so excessive emotions than are required to the situation so what is he trying to say children yes this is all very melodramatic not very original not very original so what he is trying to say children gerard finds the intruder's behavior to be dramatic and not natural understood gerard finds the intruder's behavior to be a uh, dramatic not very and uh, natural so the intruder says trying to be calm and uh, so the intruder says that he is trying to be 
calm see he is trying to be calm so he is short of words to complete the sentences he couldn't complete the sentence trying to be calm so what is he trying to say children yes the intruder says that he is trying to be calm gerard non calent not non challenged children its pronunciation is non calent non calent is your word i think non calent is your word so what do you mean by non calent uh, not showing anxiety or interest or enthusiasm so non calent is your word i think i think your word is non calent you are not showing any anxiety or interest or enthusiasm so gerald says he wants to say that he is trying to be calm and non calent that is uh, not to show anxiety anxiety or enthusiasm then the intruder thanks a lot you'll soon stop being smart i'll make you crawl i want to know a few things see so the intruder he became very serious what he say children yes first of all what he say yes the intruder thanks gerard for completing the sentence and says that soon he will stop acting smart he adds that he will torture him and make him crawl c r a w l you know what's the meaning of crawl babies are crawling crawl on the floor like so the intruder thanks gerard for completing the sentence and says that soon he will stop acting smart so he asks him or he says that soon gerard will stop acting smart so he adds that he will torture him and make him crawl on the floor so he wanted to do something serious to gerard Okay, so let's see what he is going to do. Gerard, anything you like. I know all the answers. But before we begin, I should like to change my position. You may be comfortable, but I am not. So what is he trying to say, children? Gerard. Gerard says that the intruder could ask him anything. But before that, he wanted to sit comfortably. So what's going on there, children? Gerard says that the intruder could ask him anything, but before that, he wanted to sit comfortably. I should like to change my position. You may be comfortable, but I am not. So what is he trying to say, children? Yes, Gerard says that the intruder could ask him anything he likes, but before that, he wanted to sit comfortably. Then the intruder says, "Sit down there." and no funny business motions to a chair and seats himself on the divan by the back now then uh, we shall have a nice little talk about yourself so the intruder uh, command gerald to sit on the chair and sits on the divan he wants to talk about the two of them so what is going on there children yes he asked gerald to sit down there no funny business then motions to a chair and seats himself so who sits on the divan yes the intruder he sat on the divan by the back and now uh, let's start a nice little talk about yourself so let's start a nice little talk about yourself means he wanted to talk about or he wanted to make a nice talk with a, a gerard yes gerard at last a sympathetic audience i shall tell you the story of my life how was a child i was stolen uh, by the gypsies and why at the age of 32 i find myself in my lonely essex cottage how so gypsies you know nomads nomadic people wandering here and there okay so gerard says that finally he has a person who is concerned about him and wants to know about his past so he adds that he would tell him about his life how as a child he was stolen by a group of nomads and why at the age of 32 years he was living all alone at this small cottage in essex so by saying this he developed an air of suspense around him so gerard what did he so what did he do children yes he decided to uh, tell him about his life so he told him that he was a person who was stolen by a group of nomads and at the age of 32 years still he was living all alone in this small cottage in essex okay then intruder keep it to yourself and you just answer my question you live here alone well do you 
that means the intruder was not intrigued by gerald's words so what did he do children yes he wanted answers to set out his questions he wanted some answers to his questions and did not want to hear to what gerard had to say so he asked if gerard lived there alone so what he is trying to say keep it to yourself i don't want to hear your life story you just answer my questions you live here alone well do you so he asked if gerard lived there alone then what's the reply given by gerard i'm sorry i thought you were telling me not asking me a question of inflection your voice is unfamiliar so what do you mean by inflection children inflection means a change in the modulation of voice inflection means a change in the modulation of the voice that means he changed the tone of his sound he changed the tone of his sound so the style of asking uh, whether asking a question or telling a statement understood so inflection inflection means a change in the modulation of voice so gerard says that the way in which the intruder spoke made him feel that he was telling him that he lived alone rather than asking him if he did live alone so he added that the intruder was not familiar to imply that he wanted to know about him that means the intruder he changed the tone of his voice okay then gerard Yes Gerard says I am sorry I thought you were telling me not asking me a question of inflection what do you mean by inflection children a change in the modulation of voice so the intruder which emphasis do you live here long so the intruder repeated his question with emphasis the repeated question so who repeated the question yes the intruder repeated his question with emphasis and asked gerard if he lived there long then gerard if i don't answer yes gerard asked what would the intruder do if he did not answer his question so gerard also became very serious and he asked another question to him and if i don't answer yes he asked what would the intruder do if he did not answer his question so the intruder says you have got enough sense not to want to get hurt what do you mean by the children you have got enough sense not to want to get hurt so the intruder warned gerard that if he did not want any harm then he should obey his orders did you get that children you have got enough sense not to want to get hurt so the intruder warned gerard that if he did not want any harm if he did not want any problem then he should obey his orders then again gerard says i think good sense is shown more in the ability to avoid pain than in the mere desire to do so so what do you think mr yes gerard spoke intelligently and replied that his good sense reflected in his ability to avoid pain that the mere desire to avoid it so he asked the intruder about his opinion and asked him mr that means it indicates that he wanted to know his name so the intruder uh, his name was not been disclosed so his name had not been disclosed so he asked also he addressed him mr so gerard spoke intelligently what's the reason children yes he realized the intention of the intruder so he replied that his good sense reflected in his ability to avoid pain that the mere desire to avoid it so he asked the intruder about his opinion and addressed him mr so to, to indicate that he wanted to know his name okay never mind my name i like you but you was better mr gerard how uh, what are your christian names so the intruder replied that he did not know his name who need not know his name yes he replied that gerard need not know his name and on the other hand he asked gerard his christian name you know what's the meaning of christian name what do you mean by christian name children christian name means their baptistic name baptistic b a p t i s t i c their first name okay so he is vincent charles so christian name means he was given when he was baptized in the church okay so he asked the intruder asked gerald his christian name christian name that's the name he was given when he was baptized in the church he asked oh 
then gerald answered a uh, vincent charles gerald replied that his christian name was a uh, vincent charles do you run a car and next question do you run a car what do you mean by that yes the injured's next question was if gerald had a, a car then gerald replied no hmm? gerald replied uh, negatively then the injured says uh, that's a lie you are not dealing with a fool i am as, as smart as you and smarter and i know you run a car better be careful wise guy so what's going on there children yes the injured uh, he realized that gerard was lying so the injured said that gerard was lying and he said that he was not foolish he was smarter than him and knew that he had a car he warned gerard not to be fool him and as he warned gerard uh, not to uh, be fool him don't try to make me a fool i am smarter than you then gerard are you american or is that merely a clever imitation then the next question asked by gerald are you an american so the gerald asked the intruder if he was really an american or was he copying american accent then intruder answers listen this gun is not toy i can hurt you without killing you still get my answers so the intruder got angry by hearing the question are you an american or is that merely a clever imitation so when jara asked the intruder if he was really an american or was he copying american accent then the intruder got angry and said that his gun was not a toy he could harm jara and still would get a reply to his question so he again warned him jara of course if you put it like that i'll be glad to assess you i do possess a car and it's in the garage round the corner so gerard showed that he has got scared hmm? gerard showed gerard showed means he was pretending that he got scared and said that he would be happy to help the injured he accepted that he had a car and said that it was in the garage the injured that's better do people often come out here then the next question do people often come out here so then the intruder asked whether the place was uh, frequented by many people what do you mean by that children yes do you often do people often come out here so here the intruder asked whether the place was frequented by many people uh, whether the place was frequented by many people means uh, whether the garage was frequented by many people then gerald says very rarely surprisingly few people take the trouble to visit me there's ah uh, yes so yes he asked the question like this children sorry so the intruder asked whether the place was frequented not the garage children his cottage hmm? so do people often come out here that means do people often come out here means uh, do people often come out here in that cottage so the intruder asked whether the place whether the house or whether the cottage was frequented by uh, many people so what's the reply given by gerard very rarely surprisingly few people take the trouble to visit me there is the baker and the green grocer of course then there is the milkman quite charming but no one so interesting as he was so what's the reply given by gerald children see he asked a question do people often come out here what's the meaning of that one yes the intruder asked whether the house was frequented by many people whether Uh, the house was frequented what do you mean by it? whether the house was frequented by many people uh, whether uh, many people has come to your house then gerald replied that he rarely had any visitors so what's the question asked by him do people often come out here so gerald replied that he rarely had any visitors he rarely rarely you know it's a negative word so he rarely had any visitors except a baker green grocer and a milkman so he added that very few people underwent the trouble of visiting him other than the baker green grocer and the milkman no one else bothered to uh, visit him okay so i happen to know that you never see trade people so here again another question i happen to know that you never see trades people so the intruder said that he had come to know that gerard did not meet a trades people gerard uh, did not meet the people the trades people the people who are engaged in trade okay so then the reply given by gerard you seem to have taken a considerable amount of trouble since you know so much about me won't you say something about yourself you have been so modest so 
the intruder asked him a lot more questions so gerard now he asked another question to him see what said children yes you seem to have taken a considerable amount of trouble since you know so much about me won't you say something about yourself you have been so modest so what is going on there children yes gerard commented that the intruder had gone through a lot of trouble to take information about him so he added that as the intruder know a lot more about him so he should disclose some details about himself so he added that the intruder had been reserved and had not talked much about himself so the intruder had not talked much about himself so jara asked him to say something about himself jara asked the intruder to say something about or to say or to disclose some details about uh, himself to okay so intruder i could tell you plenty you think you are smart but i am the top of the class round here i have got brains and i use them that's how i have got where i have so what's going on there yes the intruder said that he had a lot to talk about himself in case gerard thought himself to be smart he was smarter he had brains and used his intelligence to achieve things so what is he trying to say children yes the intruder said that i could tell you plainly so he had a lot to talk about himself so in case gerard thought himself to be smart he was smarter so who was smarter here children yes the intruder said that he was smarter not gerard he had brains and he used his intelligence to achieve things so that is what is the sense that's how i have got where i have that means he had brains and he used it to in, used his intelligence to achieve things okay then gerard and where precisely have you got i didn't require it didn't require a great brain to break into my little cottage so gerard commented that the man had just broken into his small cottage which was not a big deal and did not require much intelligence too so he teased him by how children yes the man had just broken into his small cottage which was not a big deal so according to gerard it's not a big deal uh, to break through a small house like this and at the same time it did not require much intelligence too so the intruder says when you know why i have broken into your cottage or your little cottage you will be surprised and it won't be a pleasant surprise so what's the intruder trying to say children yes the intruder said that the reason for his entering gerard's cottage would shock gerard so he was very sure the intruder again warned him uh, that he, the reason for his entering or uh, the reason for for intruding gerard's cottage would shock gerard later then gerard with your figuring so largely in it that is understandable by the way what particular line of crime do you embrace or aren't you a specialist then what do you mean by embrace children here embrace means accept a double c e p t so gerard replied by seeing the intruder's behavior he knew that his reason for entering his house would be shocking then he inquired about the crime that the intruder specialized in so with you figuring so largely in it that's understandable yes i realized that there is some reason for intruding into my house i n t r u i n g so he had broken into his cottage who had broken children yes the intruder had broken into gerard's little cottage so he realized that there is he there was some reason so with your figuring so largely in it that's understandable so by the way what particular line do you embrace what particular line do you accept or aren't you a specialist so what's the question asked by him he has gerard inquired about the crime that the intruder specialized in then the intruder says my speciality is jewel robbery your car will do me a treat it's certainly a dandy bus then what do you mean by dandy children dandy means stylish fashionable dandy stylish fashionable so my speciality is jewel robbery so the intruder replied that he specialized in a jewel robbing then he added one more thing he added that gerald's car would be a gift for him because it was very stylish Hmm? so gerard's car would be a gift for him because it was very stylish so it's certainly a dandy bus it's certainly a stylish one a fashionable one so it's very stylish gerard i am afraid jewels are few and far between in the wilds of essex so what's the 
kids and children i'm afraid jewels are few so here again general commented that in essex jewels were hardly found jewels means jewelry shops were hardly found he wanted to say that it was futile for the intruder to visit the area as he would not find any jewels there did you understand sir i am afraid jewels are few jewels are few means jewelry shops are few in number and at the same time far between in the wilds of essex so gerard commented that in essex jewel shops were hardly found hardly you know it's a negative word jewel founds were not found so he wanted to say that it was futile for the intruder it was an affordless work for the intruder to visit the area as he would not find any jewelry shop there so it's in vain what do you mean by futile children without any results so he told the intruder that it was futile it was a worthless effort for the intruder to visit the area as he would not find any jewelry shop there then intruder so are the corpses i can retire here nicely for a little while so what's going on there children yes so so are the corpses corpses you know policemen so are the corpses i can retire here nicely for a little while so what he saying children the intruder says that just like it jewels corpses were also scarce in essex so just like jewelry shop policemen were also scarce is c a r c s that means so are the corpses means like jewelry shop the number of corpses the number of policemen were also very little there and so he could live there uh, peacefully so did you get him children did you get his character yes he was wanted a wanted person by the police he was a, a wanted person so the cops so why he is trying to say the children yes what is he trying to say so are the cops the intruder added that just like jewelry shop cops were also very few in number in essex so he could live there peacefully without the fear of the policemen okay so gerard you mean to live with me a trifle sudden isn't it you have not been invited so gerald asked if the intruder wanted to live with him he commented that the decision was sudden and that he had not invited the intruder to live with him so gerald had a doubt what's the children you mean to live with me you wanted to live with me a trifle sudden isn't it what do you mean by that children yes the he commented that the decision was sudden all of a sudden he took the decision and he had not invited the intruder to live with him he was not at all happy with the intruder if he wanted to live with him okay yes listen intruder you won't be here long so i don't trouble to ask So what's going on there children you won't be here long intruder you won't be here long so i didn't trouble to ask so what's the reply given by the intruder the intruder replied that he did not take the trouble to ask permission from gerard because he won't be there for long did you get the sentence children yes the intruder replied that he did not take the trouble to ask permission from gerard to live with him because he won't live there for long then gerard asked what do you mean gerald asked what did he mean by that he didn't get that question or he didn't that sentence would say yes you won't be here long so i didn't trouble to ask so what is he trying to say children yes the intruder replied that he did not take the trouble to ask permission from gerald because he won't be there for long then gerald he pretended that he didn't understand that so what he asked what do you mean gerald asked uh, what did he mean by that then the intruder uh, this is your big surprise i am going to uh, kill you understood so this is your big surprise the intruder replied that the surprise was that he intended to kill jarab the intruder decided to uh, kill jarab then he won't get the permission from jarab to live there in that cottage a little harsh isn't it jarab said that the man sounded harsh man sounded a little bit cruel then intruder with very sarcasm what did he say children yeah i will be sorry to do it i have taken a fancy to you but it's just got to be uh, done so what's going on there children yes the intruder replied sarcastically that he would be sorry to do that because he had developed a liking for him 
did you get the children yes with very sarcasm so with very sarcasm what did he say children yes he commented what did he say yeah i will be sorry to do it i will be sorry to do it i have taken a fancy to you i have taken a fancy to you means he had developed a liking for him yet he was sorry to do that so then joda replied sarcastically that he would be sorry to do that because he had developed a, a liking for him so he had to uh, kill him clear why and murder to your other crimes it's a grave step you are taking so gerard said why add murder to your other crimes it's a grave step you are taking so gerard said or gerard asked killing a person it's a serious crime no so he advised the injured not to do so so what's going on there children yes why add murder to your other crimes it's a grave step it's a serious step you are taking so here gerald try to advise him so he said that killing a person is a serious crime and he try to advise the injured uh, not to do so the injured what is a children yes i am not taking it for fun i have been hunted long enough i am wanted for murder already and they can't hang me twice so what's going on there children yes the injured he slowly disclosed his intention what did he said and yes he said that he was being chased by the police he was being followed by the police as he had already murdered a person so did you get his character children yes the police he was being chased by the police as he had already murdered a crime so if he would kill another person the punishment would still remain the same as they could not hang him twice to death understood so what is he trying to say children why add murder to your other crimes it's a grave step you are taking so gerard he tried to advise him not to do so what's the reply given by him i'm not taking it for fun it's very serious i have been hunted long enough i'm wanted for murder already and they can't be hang me twice so the injured said that he was being chased by the police as he had already murdered a person so if he would kill another person the punishment would still remain the same as they could not hang him twice to death understood so gerard you are planning a gratuitous double so to speak admitted you have nothing to lose but what have you to gain children the word a gratuitous double how is in the word g r a t u i t o u s gratuitous double its meaning is done without a reason done without a reason okay so you are planning a gratuitous double so to speak admitted you have nothing to lose but why have you to gain so gerard said what is it what is he trying to say children yes the injured was planning to murder him without any reason he didn't understand you are planning a gratuitous double so to speak so the injured was planning to murder him so he realized gerard realized that the injured was planning to murder him without any reason so he agreed that the injured would not lose anything but asked him what would be get by killing him so he wanted to know the reason for him to kill him gerard uh, wanted to know the reason to kill him clear so once again children i'll give you the meaning you are planning a gratuitous double what's the meaning of gratuitous gratuitous double means done without a reason so here the gerard asked or gerard meant Uh, that the injured was planning to murder him without any reason so he agreed that the injured would not lose anything he agreed that the, he admitted that you have nothing to lose so he here gerard agreed that the injured would not lose anything but asked him what would he be getting by killing him he wanted to know the reason for him to kill him clear so the answer or the reply given by the injured let's listen see i have got freedom to gain as for myself i am a poor hunted rat as vincent charles as gerard i am free to go places and do nothing i can eat well and sleep and without having ready it to be at it the sight of a cow so what do you mean by children to beat it see the word without having to be ready to beat it at the sight of a cop to beat it means to leave immediately to beat it means to leave 
immediately so what's going on there children yes the intruder replied so the intruder replied that in return uh, for killing gerard he would get freedom so he disclosed the truth what did he tell then yes the intruder replied that in return for killing gerard he would get freedom by how as he had committed a murder he was hunted by the police and was hiding like a rat upon stealing the identity of vincent charles gerard he would live a life of freedom he could go to places eat and sleep without the fear of being caught by the police did you understand children yes he disclosed the truth what it is children i have got freedom to gain as for myself i am a poor hunted rat as vincent charles gerard i am free to go places as vincent charles gerard i am free to go places and do nothing i can eat well and sleep and without having to be ready to beat it at the sight of a cop so what he was trying to say children yes he wanted to take the identity of vincent so upon stealing the identity of vincent charles gerard he would live the life of a free man he would live a life of freedom he could go to places eat and sleep without the fear of being caught by the police so he disclosed his intention so in return for killing gerard he would get freedom as he had committed a murder he was hunted by the police he was searched by the police and was hiding like a rat so upon stealing the identity of vincent he would live a life of freedom he could go to places eat and sleep without the fear of being caught by the police so did you get the intention of the intruder okay children so gerard says in most melodramas the villain is foolish enough to delay his killing long enough to be frustrated you are much luckier so uh, what's a sentence given by gerard here okay listen children in most melodramas the villain is foolish enough to delay his killing long enough to be frustrated you are much luckier so gerard commented that in many melodrama many dramatic plays hmm? in many dramatic plays melodramas means drama a dramatic plays so in many dramatic plays the villain was sure to be a foolish person as he was a smarter person uh, what did he say children gerard gerard commented that in many dramatic plays in many melodramas the villain was sure to be a foolish person he would delay being killed and eventually got frustrated due to the delay then he would commit some foolish act and got trapped but the intruder was luckier than such a villain so what is he trying to say children yes gerard says you are much luckier so here gerard says that the intruder was luckier than uh, such villains the intruder was a uh, luckier than such villains what's the reason children yes in many dramatic plays the villain was shown to be a foolish person he would delay being killed and eventually got frustrated due to the delay then at last he would commit some foolish act and got trapped too so here gerard says that the intruder was luckier than such villains children hope you understood the portion two three pages are there it will be explained in our next class and notes will be there write it in your notebook okay read the portion thoroughly children thank you have a nice day